Oh, hello and welcome back. Here with easy holiday decorating tips to help you entertain like a pro, please welcome Sebastian Sentner. <laughs> so these are all from Pottery Barn. Yes, uh, Pottery Barn has unbelievable stuff they this year. So do. we really took advantage. Table. We really okay. took advantage. So you say, first of all, to make a statement, use a good big dining room table. Yes. Well, I mean, if you have a, a nice dining room table wow. or a big dining room table, great. But, you know, any size will do. But the whole idea about it is using your dining room table to sort of make a statement. So the idea is that you sort of have this great opportunity that when you're doing entertaining over the holidays, that as people arrive in the dining room, this is where you can really wow them, sort of create a little bit of a reveal. So we've done that today and sort of tried to use a lot of different colors and some of the, the, the patterns from the season. Okay, how, let's break it down because everything's so Absolutely. pretty. Where do we start? Well, why don't we start with sort of what we've done color-wise and okay. pattern-wise. So what we've tried to do here is that, of course, it's the holidays, so you want everything to sparkle and be, you know, fabulous. But we've also used a lot of things with jewel tones. So jewel tones are very hot this year. And what's nice about jewel tones is that they're not too, too strong. So you can actually use them with the silver and the gold and those sorts of themes, and it works really, really well. Either, in this case, we did something with the interior of the votives. The votives look so, so pretty. They, well, the candlelight them. adds to it. So, And then yeah. also not having just a silver or something that's a clear, yeah. it gives that sort of reflection off the color. Mm -hmm. And then what we've tried to do is tie that in other places, including, of course, the salad plates, which you see here. Oh, yeah, they're all different. Uh, Aren't they colors? pretty? Yes. So the idea there is that they have that accent color that ties into the jewel tones we're using on the table, and it ah. sort of pulls the whole table together. like that, too. I see that the uh, glasses are jewel tone as well. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we sort of, again, you know me, I'm not about crazy amount of color, but a little touch of color, especially yeah. this time of year, is nice. Well, it is, but the other thing, too, is it's very neutral, and you just have a very soft pop of color. Yeah, that's, that's sort of... make it very classic. That's sort of my style, is I always like to keep things somewhat classy, elegant, and then it doesn't mean you can't have fun with it and can't add a little bit of color. Yeah. But it just, let's just not go too crazy. Right. It's the food that should be the big... Uh, food that, it's, it's the, it's the food, food that should be, absolutely. <laughs> okay, now talking about ornaments, okay? Yes. What do you want us to do with those extra ornaments? Okay, so you know, I mean, we, we've talked about before using ornaments in vases of that sort. Sure. But one thing we haven't really talked about, which is a great idea, is to actually use them in lanterns or some sort of a vessel you can use on the floor. Okay. So the idea is this, is that if you have, um, you don't want to go out and buy all new every year. So no. if you have stuff left over, if you're using it on your tree, if you, you know, can mix and match because it works, then using lanterns or using something else that you can either be floor mounted like this that's larger, uh -huh. that sort of adds that sort of holiday decor, like punches around the house, mm -hmm. works really well. And the nice thing too is that floor, de floor decor is really hard to do, to sort of do something that stands out. Mm -hmm. This is really simple. It takes up space, and it sort of uh, it gives that little nice flair. One, two, three, and and, and I, they're all so pretty. They're so, very pretty. So it, that you use them in the summer, and then you go, oh, I got to put them away for the summer. No, you don't. No, do absolutely. But that, see, that's the yeah. thing also is reusing, like using stuff you have around the house. Yeah. Like you can take outdoor lanterns that you'd never think about using for holiday, mm -hmm. and you can turn them into something holiday this way. And if you notice, we use the small ones as well. The nice thing about the small ones is either when you do them in little clusters, it works really well. But then if you want to do something in a powder room or, for example, at a front hall entrance, mm -hmm. you can use the smaller vases uh, or lanterns and tie it in as well. So all of a sudden, as you go through the house, it's not too matchy, yeah. but you have like little touches here and there that pull the whole decor together. Yeah, if you, especially you've told me this before when you're having a party think about the guests are coming in what do they see the next yeah. step what do they see absolutely what you don't you don't want them to sort of like you know be wading through like you know uh trees and, and, Tree. and yeah exactly <laughs> and ornaments and it's, you know it'll be like one of those uh right. bubble houses but no you want to have enough that people can feel that you know it's not just sort of walk in blank 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 and then mm. you got your dining room so mm -hmm. try and add those touches everywhere else bringing the outdoors in Bringing the outdoors in. So what we did with that is, again, trying to sort of give that natural feel, but with a little bit of elegance. We did that with using these great birch candles Very um, from Party Barn, which I'm a huge fan of. Yes. Um, we've done that, obviously, with the trees, but again, in an elegant sort of way, so that it ties into what we're doing. Even the candles have a little bit of a sheen to them mm -hmm. and a little bit of a crystal look, so that we're not sort of making it too... Uh, rustic, right, right. but it has a bit more of a modern feel. What do you mean uh, about updating your space? Okay, so this is something, these um, faux furs, which are really, really, really hot. The last couple of years, they've just sort of exploded. And we've used them on the bench. I have another one here. See, yeah. The idea is, is that if you want to decorate a space, so if you've got your dining room, you have your centerpiece, that's sort of an easy one because you sort of do it and it's done. Mm -hmm. But if you want to update your living room and sort of tie it for holiday, you really can't do decor everywhere and then it starts to be a little bit overwhelming. Yes. But if you take a simple fur throw, a couple of ac or accent pillows, yeah. or faux fur, sorry, yeah. and a couple of accent pillows, et cetera, and you add those, all of a sudden, you sort of give it that winter wonderland feel. Yeah. And it works really, really well. Cozy and comfortable. Cozy and comfortable. Okay, what about the bar area? Not that I noticed. The bar. Did you see this bar? It's amazing. 
Talk to me about this. So um, I have always loved doing self-serve bars or setting up a bar area. And the idea behind that is that people have somewhere they can go throughout the night to help themselves. It makes your job as a host or hostess a little bit easier mm -hmm. as well. Um, and when you're setting up a self-serve bar, the, the idea behind it is that, number one, if you have a bar cart like the one that we have here, it's you can move it around from spot to spot in your house. So if you decide that the best place is you know, in the living room when people are arriving, etc., great. Or another day you can use it somewhere different, maybe the dining room. Mm -hmm. But you can also set it up for the type of entertaining you're doing. So in this case, we've done more traditional bars. So you've got your different types of mixes, you've got your wines. Yeah, send it, just uh, bring it down for me. So you have the, the, the ice bucket and it's full of... The ice bucket, what we've done here is we've done beer, sparkling wine, white wine, and vodka, of course. Mm -hmm. um, and another trick, I'll just really, really quick one, when you're filling up your ice buckets, put your product in first, then add the ice. And remember the trick we always talk about is add a little bit of water, salted water, and it speeds up the uh, cooling of the beverages. Okay, very good. Then we do our red wines, because obviously those are kept at room temperature. Right. Then you might have some special the ice for people to help themselves to. There and you then go. you can also add all your mixes and everything else. In this case, we've done some things on the bottom. That's great. So it's really, really simple. People can come up, help themselves, and your job as a host is really just to replenish. All right. Thank you, Sebastian. My pleasure. And thank you to Pottery Barn, too, for this gorgeous dining room. I love all the things that you brought in from Pottery Barn. If you'd like some more information on Pottery Barn and everything you see today on the show, just go to Maryland.ca. Okay, we have to take a break. We'll be right back. All right. Great. So put a little bit of salt. Salt and water. Yeah.